So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a planet, not by using filters and stuff like that, but by using textures of planets and moons well known in our solar system. This is going to be in Photoshop CS4 and the operating system I'm using now is Windows 7. Also this video was requested by Nebula1701. So first things first we need to go to File, then New. We need to do a width and height of around 4,000. Why 4,000? Well, what we're going to do later is resize it. The bigger the size and when it's rescaled, the better the quality. So we'll click on OK. Now that's done. We need to go to wherever our textures are and we need to import them. To do that, we just simply drag and drop. So I'll do this one by one. Now we have our textures imported, we just need to tear them away with the tabs. And what we can do now is we'll click on one of the textures and we'll just drag them onto our new document. And how we do that is simply by clicking on the background layer of the selected texture, holding down the left mouse button and dragging them into a blank space. You can see it gets transported to our new document. So we'll do this for all the textures. Now we've added all our textures to our new document, what we need to do is resize them. And to resize them, we just need to simply, with one of our layers selected, press Ctrl and T on the keyboard, and you'll see these boxes around the picture with our arrow for the cursor. You just need to hold down shift on the keyboard, left click on one of the boxes and then drag it out, like so. Why press and hold shift on the keyboard? Well, it keeps it in the proportions. So when you're done, just let go and then double click on the picture or texture and now select it. You just need to move it around to the place that you want it and do all the same for the pictures. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to speed up the video. And all that's left now is if you're not happy with the way that the layers are, you can just click and hold down one of your layers, drag them up or drag them down, it'll determine which layers on top of which. So now that's sorted, we just need to do one of two things. Now for this next part we're going to be doing the desaturation. You can do it separately for each layer by holding Control Shift and U or going to Image Adjustments and Desaturate which will turn it black and white. And it may be better in the long run because you can change the brightness of contrast, it will make blending easier. Or you can simply go to Layer Flatten Image and then desaturate it so everything is black and white. That's the quickest way. We'll double click on our layer and then when this pops up we'll click OK. That'll change it from a background layer. Make things better. For this next part you'll need the clone stamp tool. We'll zoom in a little bit. And you need to start blending everything in. So if you hold down Alt somewhere on a picture click, I suggest using a small brush of about 100 pixels, a soft one as well, and doing the opacity to around 50%. See the blend. And just start using your brush. So now I've blended everything together. For the next part what we'll need to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Here we need to raise the contrast a little and turn down the brightness. Do it based on gut feeling which you prefer and then click OK. Now what we'll need is the elliptical marquee tool. Start at a corner 
hold down shift which will give you a perfect circle drag it out within your picture and then let go of the mouse and you can use your keyboard arrow keys to position it the way you want it after that what you'll need to do is press control shift and I on your keyboard that will invert your selection then just delete and it will delete everything but the circle you made press control and D to deselect it and that's what you're left with now for the next part we'll need to go to file new and we're going to do a resolution of whichever your mono is like for mine it's a 19 inch mono so it's 1440 by 900 and then we'll click OK we'll just tear this away select our planet layer drag and drop it onto our new document which is our screen resolution we can get rid of that now you want to attach the new document if you zoom out a little bit press control and T on the keyboard you can see how big our uh, planet is in comparison to our screen resolution so what we'll need to do is to resize it drag it back into our picture and zoom back in and now we can resize it to whichever size we prefer once you're done with that just double click on it like last time nudge it into place using the arrow keys hold down control on the keyboard and click on the thumbnail in the layer palette and you'll see the marching ants go around the picture planet click on filter then distort and go to spherize make sure it's 100% for the amount normal for the mode and then click OK and you see it's slightly spherized so it looks more like a planet now if you want to turn it around position it in a way that you like just hold down control and T hold down shift and you can spin it around and place it however you want it so I'm just going to leave it like that now what we'll need to do is deselect it which I've already mentioned the shortcut key so you should remember on our background layer we'll just double click on it when this pops up OK and now we'll press D on the keyboard and here make sure that black is your foreground color then press alt and backspace and it'll turn it black there you go what we'll need to do now is double click on the layer we'll select outer glow in a shadow and in a glow what you need to do is change the color of in a glow to blue preferably a light blue increase the size and the choke you want to make sure that the blend mode is set to normal and set the opacity to around to around 50% Go to outer glow, change the color like last time to a dark blue, adjust the size and the spread. Go to inner shadow, change the distance, change the color to a lighter blue, then your outer glow, change the distance and change that to normal, then set the opacity to around 50%. 